Hi, this is Alan Gleason for Crossfader. In this video, I'm going to be checking out a plugin from Mac Sentai's called VoiceGate. As the name suggests, it's a gate plugin aimed at processing the voice. Gate plugins are something that come as standard in every DAW, and there are plenty more from third party developers. But VoiceGate offers a new take on this classic processor by using machine learning techniques. Accentize has claimed that it can differentiate between desired signal components and unwanted noise and suppress the noise. It's available in AU, VSD3 and AAX formats, so no matter what DAW you use, it will be compatible. So let's check it out. The first thing you'll probably notice here is the actual interface is very large. Open the top corner, you can switch it to normal size or double size. There's two modes it can work in, broadband mode and spectral focus mode. We're going to stick with broadband mode at the minute. The first recording I have here is a recording I made where there's quite a bit of street noise and outdoor ambience on the recording. And we're going to look and see what the plugin can do to tidy this up. So I'll explain a bit about the interface first and then we'll listen to the audio. So the main display here is broken up into two sections. This section here is where we'll see the actual filtering or suppressing of the signal happening. And just underneath it here, we'll see the actual waveform and what's actually been attenuated in the waveform. So I'm in an outdoor environment here now, side of a road, and there's very various noise and birds and animals going on in the back. So that's the signal there. So you can see nothing is changing here because I haven't made any adjustments to the settings down here at the bottom. There's only two sections, so it's very easy to understand and learn the plugin. The steady noise section addresses more constant noise, like maybe background noise or drone from a motorway or or something continuous throughout the audio. The impulsive noise section deals with noise that happens like an impulse or an impact or very small sounds, so you can address them as well. So I'll start off by looking at the steady noise. So in the signal that you're gonna hear, there's like wind noise and some general background ambience that I'm gonna try and remove so we can just focus on the voice. So I'm in an outdoor environment here now, side of a road, and there's very various noise and birds and animals going on in the background. So as I start to turn up the max reduction, this is how much the plugin is going to suppress the signal and the sensitivity adjusts how aggressive this reduction is going to be. So I'm in an outdoor environment here now, side of a road, and there's very various noise and birds and animals going on in the background. So let's see what the plugin can do to tidy up this speech and make it sound more professional. So I'm in an outdoor environment here now, side of a road, and there's very various noise and birds and animals going on in the background. So let's see what the plugin can do to tidy up this speech. What we're seeing in blue here is the signal that's going to be kept and the gray signal behind it is what's been attenuated. So we've got a bypass function up here in the corner. So I've made some pretty extreme settings there and the signal, the voice is still being preserved quite well. So I'm going to bypass the device in and out to see the effect that the plugin is causing. So I'm in an outdoor environment here now, side of a road and there's very various noise and birds and animals going on in the background. So let's see what the plugin can do to it. I will also say that this plugin is a mono plugin. So the recordings that I've made are stereo recordings. So when I activate the plugin, it makes the signal mono. I'm also going to adjust the makeup gain here. Because of the reduction, the signal's got a bit quieter. So I want to get a kind of correct impression of before and after. So I'm in an outdoor environment here now, side of a road, and there's very various noise and birds and animals going on in the background. So let's see what the plugin can do to tidy up this speech and make it sound more professional. So that's suppressing the signal quite well there. Next signal I'm going to look at is something a bit more troublesome in that I made the recording in the same location, but there's a dog barking in the background. So typically this would be something very challenging to try and remove from the signal. So let's see how the plugin handles this. So here I am talking outside and as you can hear, there's a dog barking in the background. So yeah, very troublesome. So in the impulsive noise section, I'm going to turn up the same controls. The max reduction is going to set how much it actually attenuates the signal, the unwanted signal, and the sensitivity is how aggressively it actually does that. So here I am talking outside and as you can hear, there's a dog barking in the background. So this is maybe a bad situation to be recording. But let's see what the plugin can do to try and solve this problem. So here I am talking outside and as you can hear, there's a dog barking in the background. So this is maybe a bad situation to be recording, but let's see what the plugin can do to try and solve this problem. So again, you can see in the waveform display, the darker areas are the areas that have been actually attenuated. So it's doing quite a good job. There are times where when I'm talking and the dog is barking at the same time, there is a bit of an issue there. Now, what you can do in situations like this 
is that you can switch over to spectral focus mode. And essentially what now what you get is like a multiband gate where you've got a, a low section, a mid section and a high section, and you can adjust the crossover between those areas. So when you go into spectral focus mode, you'll notice that you've got additional controls across the bottom here. So it's still the same section, steady noise and impulsive noise. But because we've got three sections, we've got additional controls for them. So we have our lows, our mids and our highs in both sections. So what we can also do is that we can click on a particular band to solo that. So if you're finding that the processing, if you're doing it broadband, if it's having some sort of like negative effect, maybe suppressing the, the high frequency content in the sound a bit too much, you can switch over into spectral focus mode. So I'll just solo the, I'll reset actually some of our controls here. So now that I've reset it, let's solo the high end. That's the high frequency, so I'll try and start to address some of that. So as soon as I start to turn off the max reduction, you can see the filtering suppression start to happen. So just in that particular band, it's doing quite a good job. So let's. So here I am talking outside, and as you can hear, there's a dog. So in the mid range, there we have a lot more dog barking so let's see what we can do so here i am talking outside and as you can hear there's a dog barking in the background so this is maybe a bad situation switched over into the lows so let's see what the plugin can do to try and solve this problem so here i am talking outside and as you can hear there's take a it out dog solo barking in the background so this is maybe a bad situation to be recording but let's see what the plugin can do to try and solve this problem so here I am talking outside and as you can hear, there's a dog barking in the background. So this is maybe a bad situation to be recording, but let's see what the plugin can do to try and solve this problem. So again, it's not perfect, but having the spectral focus mode allowing us to input different settings over each band gives us more control over the sound and maybe allows us to be a bit more aggressive in a particular area where the issue that you're trying to correct is more prominent. Although it's not perfect in every situation, I would be pretty happy with the results that it's getting there. It allows me to quickly dial in some noise reduction that would be kind of quite difficult to do with just your standard noise gate plugins. And often what I like to do with these plugins, you know, sometimes when they're designed to do a particular thing, let's try it out on some other material. So I've got some various samples lined up here. Obviously a drum loop there, maybe the voice gate is not designed for material like that, but just let's see what, what happens when we put it on it. So again, we're in spectral focus mode. And we've got different attenuation going on. It's going to reduce some of this. These are actually slightly difficult to adjust when it's in this double size. So I'm just going to reduce this down. So because we've got it split into our mids, or sorry, our lows, and we've got our mids, and then our highs, we can process those independently. So now it's kind of functioning, functioning more like a dynamic filter. So if I start to turn up the impulse noise reduction for my low band, I can do the same for the highs, reducing the highs, or for the mids. It can be interesting there. Let's check it out on another sample here. If I wanted to maybe process some of the lows. So you can see it filtering, doing its filtering thing on the low end there. So I'll turn up the sensitivity, make it more aggressive. Gonna adjust the crossover. Just gonna put this into loop and then so the steady noise generally more affects like uh, the constant kind of noise or ambience in the signal. So if 
to combine that with some other sounds, maybe. Kick it. So I've assigned this band here, so I could, if I wanted to, I could like even automate that, or if you've got Macs for Live devices, you can assign LFOs and things like that, so you can actually sequence that or even just automate it to get some sort of creative effect going on. So that's something I think I could find a use for in my productions. So overall, I think it does quite an interesting job at gating signals using its machine learning techniques. In the dog barking recording, that was a bit extreme there, where when you have unwanted signal happening at the same time and they're both at the same level, that's always going to be a challenge. But in terms of being able to remove impulsive noise when I wasn't talking and generally cleaning up the sound, I think it was pretty impressive. So head over to Accentize.com where there's a free trial available and you can check out what this plugin can do for your recordings. This has been Alan Gleason for Crossfader. To keep updated with our latest videos, remember to click on that subscribe button. And if you like this video, click on the like and leave some comments below.